It's inevitable. If you ride bicycles, you're going to get a flat tire. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily change that flat tire so you can get back out on the road or the trail, finish your ride. Now, of course, the first thing you need is your supplies. The things you're going to need to make this repair are an inner tube, some tools to get your tire off the bike, in my case, a 15 millimeter wrench, two tire levers are optional, and of course, we're going to need something to pump up the tire when we're finished. Before you go out and get yourself a new inner tube, make sure you know which valve you have, either a Presta or a Schrader. Your local bike shop will be able to help you if you have any questions. Once we have the tire off the bike, we're set to begin. Now this is the rear tire off my Redline Monocog single speed. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your tire irons. Now these aren't absolutely necessary. I've seen people change mountain bike tires without using tire levers, just using their bare arms. But these will make it a lot easier. Now I always like to start over here by the valve stem. And what you're going to do is just push the tire down into the rim and you're going to take the curved part of the tire lever and you're going to insert it just under the lip of the tire and then pull it up and over and you'll see there's a little hook on the other side of the tire lever and that's for hooking on your spoke so you can keep that in place now you can get your second tire iron do the same thing just insert it on your tire up and over and hook it on your spoke and that way you can pull the first one out and go down the tire a little bit further and just do the same thing up and over the rim hook it on. now once you get to a certain point with the tire you're only going to need one tire lever because you're going to be able to just slide it right around your tire and it's going to finish pulling the rest of the tire off the rim for you now the great thing about if you have a flat tire this is all you need to do is just this one bead. So pop that around. Going to take the cap off the valve stem so it'll slide back through the hole. And you're just going to pull the tire down a little bit, pull your tube out, and then pull the tube out of the tire. And we're not going to need that anymore unless you're going to patch it. Now, it's always a good idea, and I just fell victim to this not too long ago. Run your hand along the inside of the tire and check for anything protruding into the tire where it could impact the tube. If you have a little thorn in there or a little nail, you change a tube, guess what? You're going to have to do it all over again. So next step, we're going to grab our tube, and we're going to take the cap off the stem, regardless of whether it's a Presta valve or a Schrader valve. We're going to lay that out and we're going to get our tire pump and we're just going to put a little bit of air into it to give it a little shape. Now we'll disconnect our bike pump and we should be all ready. So now the next thing we need to do is locate where your valve stem is. Lay your tube down, and here's a quick little tip for you that one of my buddies showed me. Now this is a 29er mountain bike tire, but it's a 26 tube. I don't know if you can see that. You can actually get away with doing this. 26 tube will actually stretch far enough to be used in a 29er. So now you just pull the tire back down over the rim. You're going to fish the valve stem core through there. Put the cap on so it can't come back out on you. Okay, now from this point, you're just stuffing the inner tube into the tire. Now, because this is a 26 tube, it's going to take a little bit of caressing, but not a whole lot. So let me do this off camera. Okay, so I've got the tube inside the tire, and as you put the tube inside the tire, just pop the bead back on the rim. Now, here's where your tire irons come in handy again. Instead of using them this way, 
I'm going to flip them over like this, insert the curved end down over the rim, and down and over the rim it goes. And it pops in the bead just that easily. Now, the only thing left to do is to reinflate this tire to whatever pressure you run. Now, a word of caution when you're airing up this tire, stop every couple pumps and take a look on both sides of the tire, primarily the one where you had the bead off. Make sure the tube isn't pushing through, that it's in between the tire and the rim. I've had that happen, makes a really loud bang, and your ears ring for a while, and if that was your only tube. All right, now we fixed your flat tire, go get it on the bike and have some fun. And if you got some value out of this video, I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe, click the like button, and click the bell icon. That way you'll know when I upload a new video for you guys. Well, as for me, I gotta go to bed, man. I'm really tired. <laughs>